Oh, back again for more? Let's talk about this. Not all upgrades are created equal. Some you feel deep inside, like the Intel Overdrive processor, the ultimate indulgence for your 486 PC. The Intel Overdrive processor wasn't just an upgrade. It was a transformation. In an instant, this drop-in upgrade would take you from this to this. One moment, you're stuck at 25 or maybe 33 megahertz, barely getting by. Then you install this beauty and suddenly you're cruising it up to 100 megahertz. Smooth, fast, and almost too much to handle. But this wasn't just about speed. This chip was smart. Built-in cache, onboard voltage regulation, auto detection that ensured your motherboard could take every last megahertz. Every bit of it perfectly controlled, perfectly safe, because Intel knows how to take care of your hardware. It didn't ask for BIOS tweaks, no jumper configurations, just pure plug and play pleasure. You dropped it in, powered up, and oh, you felt the difference immediately, didn't you? You always remember your first time hitting triple digit megahertz. Every system wanted it. Every motherboard dreamed of it. And if you were lucky enough to have one, you knew exactly what it could do. Smooth multitasking, faster gaming, Windows 95, almost tolerable. And if you're really lucky, Quake became almost playable. You always want more after a taste of that power. So here's the Intel Overdrive, the upgrade that made your 486 PC purr without the new Pentium system price tag. Kind of like me, but with fewer compatibility issues. Make sure to subscribe to my channel on YouTube where I'll be covering the Intel Overdrive processors in more technical detail. Please like, comment, and share if you want more retro tech lust. And maybe, just maybe, I'll show you what full turbo mode really feels like.